If you're ready to start making YouTube videos, but you have no idea how to make YouTube videos, then this video is for you. My name's Kevin Colby, and I've been on YouTube for a while, been doing video for a lot longer, but there's a lot to learn about creating a YouTube video, like all the steps involved. So what I thought I would do is I would share kind of my process and the steps to go through to give you a framework to help you go from idea to actually a published video. Along the way, I'll also share some of the tools I use as well. You may find different ways of doing it and different tools. So let's start with the idea. Like all videos, we'll start with the idea. It's also called a topic as well, but it's kind of like, okay, what's the idea I have for my video? So one of the things I would recommend is keep an idea folder. I do that. I use Apple Notes for almost everything, and I have a folder called videos, and in there I have one called ideas. Whenever I have an idea for a video, I'll you know, type it out. And sometimes it may just be a sentence. It may just be like, oh, I want to do something about Final Cut Pro running slow, which is a video I've, I've done before. But I may just type that out. Sometimes it may be more thought out where I've got a paragraph I'm typing or something like that. Typically in this stage, I'm gathering ideas because I'm not sure which one I want to go with yet. Uh, sometimes in my idea folders, I'm grabbing comments and questions and dropping them in there so I can go back and revisit them. And then what I'll do is I'll start going through the ideas and I'll see, hmm, which one do I really want to do right now? Now, it may be something very timely. It may be something that needs a little bit more research and I want to take a little bit more time to just dig into some more sources or just think about the video a little bit more, whatever it is. But now the next step is if you've, you've got your idea and you've done the research, if there is any research, you want to write it. Now, writing can look different for different people. I'm a bullet point kind of person. Like the script I have for this video, a couple of notes and some bullet points of the steps, and that's it. You may be the type of person that you want to write everything out. Um, I don't think there's a wrong way to do it. I don't think there's a right way to do it, no pun intended, but what, this is the stage though where you want to take your idea and you want to move it to the step of where you want to write it out and kind of think through what you want to say in the video, what you want to show in the video. You may get to the point of actually listing the type of shots you want to do. If you're teaching something that you want to make sure you show this on the video and this on the video, it may be a vlog or something like that. But I think this is important, especially if you're beginning, to kind of get your thoughts on digital paper, if you will, before then you want to take it to the next step, which I think is the title. Now, again, some people might disagree with this. Some people want to do the title first. Some people do the thumbnail first. They do the topic. This is, this is kind of the way I do it. Like for this one, I already have a title in mind. Sometimes I have a idea for the title. So I may write a bunch of titles and I'm not completely sure. Then as I'm creating the video, the title comes to mind. Again, this may be a backwards way of doing it, but I do believe at the process here, you've gone from your idea, you've written something out, and now you've got a title, at least a title you think you want to go with. I think it's okay to have different titles because at this point, you're still kind of in this collecting stage. And what you may find is having that title then helps even solidify what you've written, whether it's bullet points or, or whatever. So now let's talk about creating the video. Here you've got a couple of options. You could live stream or you could just straight out record it. So let's talk about live streaming first. If you want to live stream, everything we've talked about up to now would still apply. You'd have your ideas, you'd have a title in mind, and you've probably written some things out. And so you could live stream. There is an advantage to live streaming is when you live stream the video, then it also is saved as a kind of a recorded video. So it's kind of like a twofer. The other way is just to record a video. Like right now, I'm recording this video. Whichever you decide to do can also help decide which gear you're going to use. And I'm not going to get into a deep dive on gear here. But if you decide to record your video, like right now, I'm recording this on my desktop because I have it set up to turn my camera on, the mic's turned on, I turn a light on, and I can use one of the programs I'll mention here in a minute, and I can be recording. It's just an easier setup to start recording. But you could record on any different any different uh, types of cameras. You know, I also have a DJI Osmo Pocket 3 in, in my phone. 
but decide how you want to record it, which you could decide in the idea stage as well. And then you want to record your video, however you end up recording it. Now, some of the programs that I use, three of these can also be used for live streaming, is Riverside, Ecamm, and StreamYard. But if you're on a Mac and you just wanna record, you could use QuickTime, which is totally free. So the next step would be editing or not. And if you don't want to really edit, then there's a video I did below you ought to watch that will give you an idea about how to create without editing. But let's say you do want to edit. Again, if you're on a Mac and you've never edited, I would use iMovie. I use Final Cut Pro, which is kind of like the pro version of iMac, but there's nothing wrong with it. There's some browser-based editing programs out there. I haven't really used them. Editing for me would be the next step to just clean up the video. Like in this video, there's there's you know some mistakes I did, so I'll, I'll cut those out. You could add some some graphics. I'd probably keep it simple. I'd probably keep it simple with everything else and just hone in on the message. But the editing could be where you just kind of clean it up. Like if you stumbled at the beginning or you did a countdown like three, two, one, you could you could trim those things out. But the editing is when you really have taken now your idea and your script and what you've recorded and you really make it something that you want to eventually upload to YouTube for somebody to watch. Now, I don't hear a lot of people talk about the next step and it's to preview it. I'm a huge believer in previewing your video before you upload it because if you upload it and you go ahead through all the process of publishing on YouTube and you see like a massive mistake, which first of all, the world won't end, you could have caught that ahead of time. What I would recommend is before you even get to the upload point, you always watch back the video. Even if it's a one take, long take video, watch it back. Does it make sense? Did you say everything you thought you wanted to say? We're not striving for perfection here. We're striving for clarity and value as well. What I do is once I've edited, again, I edit in Final Cut Pro, I export it to my desktop and I've got a 27 inch monitor, nothing fancy, and I watch it full screen. It's as close as I can get to, to be in a movie. And I just watch it as a viewer. I think that's very important as well. You want to watch it as if somebody else is watching your video. And again, it's not to just nitpick. It's like, I would look for, does it make sense the way you meant to? You may decide you want to go back and cut out something just because it didn't really make sense now as you're watching as a viewer, or you want to rearrange some things as well. But I think it's really important to watch it one more time before you get to the upload part. And now the thumbnail. Now again, some people would tell you, do the thumbnail first before you do anything else. Is that wrong or right? It's neither. I would usually do my thumbnail as the last process before I get to the upload. Why? It just works for me. I may have an idea for a thumbnail, and sometimes I'll jot it down when I'm making my notes, but most of the time when I'm done, I've done, I've, I've shot it, you know, and I've edited it, that's when I'm doing my thumbnail. I may have done some pre-work on the thumbnail, meaning as I'm shooting the video, I may also shoot a little more video kind of doing a pose or something like that. If I'm holding up an object, you know, let's say I'm talking about my Yeti tumbler. You know, I do that, I'm gonna use that as part of it later. A lot of times I'm using my iPhone to just take photos and then I turn those photos into my thumbnails. Now I use Canva. There's a lot of different programs out there. Canva to me just works. I use Canva for a lot of different things. You know, you can cut out the background if you wanted to. So you don't like, I, I kind of like right now the realistic look of my thumbnails, but again, you develop your style. Do you have to create a thumbnail? No, you don't. When you upload your video to YouTube, YouTube will pick three frames from your video totally at random you may decide you're okay with that. Most of the time, I was gonna say 99.9% .9 of the time, the frames are not good. I mean, because they're at random, they're totally at random. But again, if that works for you, fine. If you've never done a thumbnail, there's templates out there, you can customize, or you can just look at some other channels. But again, this is the process now of getting you to uploading. All right, so let's recap all the steps and I'll leave this up on the screen if you wanna take a screenshot of it or write it down. You wanna start with your idea, then you wanna write. You wanna come up with a title. You wanna create the video and you could either live stream or record it. You wanna edit it or not. You wanna preview it and then you wanna create your thumbnail. And now guess what? You're ready to upload your video to YouTube. How cool is that? Look, if this seems like a lot of steps, it is. I'm not gonna pretend like YouTube is easy, but you can spend a little or a lot of time on any of these steps and you may decide to do them in a whole different order. And that's cool because it is you 
tube <laughs> as well, other than, you know, okay, you, you get the point. If you're to a point though, and you still need help with YouTube, then check out some of the videos coming up next. I thank you so much for watching this, and I hope to see you in the next video.